Live, but it's a beautiful day, and David is tracking not only our dry spell, but rain uh, here and elsewhere. That's exactly right. Probably starting this weekend in many areas for the first time in more than two weeks by that point, and it actually doesn't have to do with this decaying tropical low pressure that we were just talking about over North Carolina. Most flash flood warnings there have expired. As we talked about yesterday, we're not getting the rain or the moisture from it. We actually have this slot of really dry air in the atmosphere, which is leading to nothing but sunshine today and again tomorrow. It's also though leading to a bit of a wind shift right now. Instead of a hot south wind, we have a cooler northeasterly breeze just five or 10 miles per hour, including in Chicago, but that can make all the difference in the world. Temperature wise, many of us are at least a couple degrees cooler than yesterday and from Chicago into northwest Indiana, we are four to seven degrees cooler. That just translates to a bit more seasonable of a day. It's still pretty warm though. 86 in Aurora 70s though in Waukegan, Michigan City and Gary, Indiana feeling nice. Let's get to your first alert on a storm system that will change our weather this weekend as you make your plans. It's not the dying tropical one over North Carolina. It is this off the coast of the Pacific Northwest projecting it forward. The storm system ahead of it bringing mountain snow near Salt Lake City boots out of here to Canada. This storm itself spends its Friday night several days from now over Las Vegas. Then it really starts to accelerate our way by Saturday. We have a slight chance of a few showers and storms locally, but Sunday into Monday. These are now looking like the wetter days, not a washout still, but a few scattered rain showers and thunderstorms now look more possible. And we're thinking, especially between Sunday and Monday, many of us could see a half inch to even one inch of beneficial and needed soaking rainfall. Also coming eventually with this weather pattern change, some cooler temperatures. Today's average high is 75. We will be much hotter than that through the week and into the weekend. But just as autumn begins officially on Sunday, here comes some more typical and cooler comfortable temperatures in the 70s, possibly every single day next week. So tonight as we await that weather pattern change, not much changing yet. Dry air allowing temperatures to fall a little cooler by morning. Keep an eye out for the super moon and lunar eclipse peaking locally at 944 PM. A little patchy fog is possible as we get toward dawn. Then tomorrow looks beautiful again. Kind of a carbon copy of today. Hardly a cloud around cooler near the lake, but 85 degrees. Your forecast high in the city. Seven day forecast has hotter weather building in before the weather pattern change this weekend. 87 degrees by Thursday, 88 on Friday. Some of us like Joliet, for instance, could hit 90 as we end the work week. A few showers possible Friday and Saturday, but the better chance of storms coming Sunday into Monday. So unlike the last couple of weekends, guys, we may actually have to plan around a little bit of rain as we make this weekend's plans. What a change. Yes. <laughs> what a difference. Imagine yeah. that. Thanks, David. Sure.